Welcome to CodeStam. In today's video, we are going to dive into dark web and learn how to scrape data from .onion sites using Python and Torpy library. Remember, this is for educational purposes only. Always make sure you have permission to scrape any site and avoid illegal activities. Let's get started by setting up our environment and writing the script. First, we will install the necessary libraries and then we will write the code to connect to Tor network and scrape a .onion site. So I already have a skeleton code ready so that I can save your time. So first thing that we are going to do is install the required libraries. For that we are going to do pip install require uh, requests and torpy and also beautiful soup core. Also before running this command make sure you have installed python in your system which you can download from python.org and after that start your terminal or command prompt and run this command to install the required libraries. Now I have already installed it so I don't get an installation procedure here. It says requirements already satisfied. So now the next thing that we have to do is write the python script. So open your favorite Python ID. I prefer VS Code right now and we will start with writing our program. So first of all, make sure you have imported the required uh, libraries that we are going to use in this. And then we have created a function that is called scrape dark web that is going to scrape the data from dark web for us. Now what we are going to do is we are going to create a variable that we will be using for Tor. So for that we will be using Tor client because we want to create a client for every Tor connection that we are going to request for to get the data. Okay. Now we are going to create a Tor circuit. For that we will do with Tor dot Tor circuit or create circuit. It will be right. It will be create circuit. And after that we will be creating a circuit of three and then as circuits. we are going to use this circuits just below so that we can create a tor session okay so we'll write with tor request session we are going to create a session for tor by passing in the circuit that we just created our okay now within this circuit we want to use it as a session so we'll say as session and now the next thing that we have to do is get a response. Okay. So for that we will perform a get request to a given URL. For that what we will do. We will create a request. First of all we will create a response variable. Okay. This is not a function. This is a variable that we are going to use. And within this response we will get the data from session by passing in the URL. That is the url that we will be passing from here okay now we will be using this response to pass in to beautiful soup so for that we will create a variable soup and within that we will pass in beautiful soup so that we can get the data so for that we will uh, say response dot text to get the text data from response by giving it a parser okay so for now we have HTML parser because the data is in HTML and after that we have to use this to find all the paragraphs in the given data okay so for uh, that we will create a variable paragraph and within that paragraph we will pass in soup so that we can get all the text so for that we will do find all and we'll pass in as p p notifies paragraphs in html okay so from p in sorry it will be for p in paragraph so basically what we are doing we are iterating through all the data that we have in paragraph okay and within this paragraph we also need the specific text okay so then we will print the text that we are getting 
so for that we'll do get text and this is the function to get text from that okay so now this will give us the text data that we'll get from this url right here okay now we also have to get a else condition now this else condition will also be running as you can say the condition where if it fails to get a response of 200 okay so for that we will have to add a if condition so for that we will add a if condition just before we add up to the soup so if response dot status code so we are going to check for status code and if status code is equal to 200 then it will go to this section and if not we will create a else condition now this else condition will make sure that if there is a failure case it will print error in fetching data also we can get the response code of why we are getting this error okay so for response code we can add uh, response dot status code so now this will uh, give us the response code data okay and this is going to give us all of the data that we want to get now which we can iterate through we can manipulate and get the data that we want now since uh, using dark web or accessing dark web is not very ideal on a public platform so I cannot scrape any publicly available onion data right so I cannot show you running this script but this is going to work as if I have already tested it. If you find any issue while running this script, you can comment me in the comment box and I'll be there for uh, your help. You can get this code uh, link for, to GitHub in the description. Also, I'll try to add all the comments just after each line so that you can understand what is the uh, use for each line. Okay, And that's going to help you as well. So that's all in this video. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you want to get any specific niche video, you can comment me in the comment box. And I will obviously take a look into that.